tinanggal ang mga senador ng Liberal Party sa mga kumiting hinahawakan nila sa Senato. Kung sino-sino sila alamin natin yan mula sa aming kasama, si Ria Fernandez, magulat mula sa Senado Ria. Yes, Princess. Apat na senador na miyembro ng Liberal Party ang natanggal sa kanilang hinahawakang komite. Sa sesyon ng Senado lunes ng hapon, nagmanipesto si Senador Manny Pacquiao na tanggalin ang komite chairmanship ni na Senador Franklin Drelon, Risa Honteveros, Bamakino at Francis Pangilinan. Pinalitan ni Senador Alfredo si Drilon bilang Senate President Pro Tempore, si Senador J.V. Ejercito naman, ang bagong Health Committee Chairperson kapalit ni Ontiveros. Si Senador Chis Escudero naman ang papalit kay Aquino bilang Education Committee Chairperson. Habang si Senador Cynthia Villar naman ang uupong Agriculture Committee Chair kapalit ni Pangilinan. Una rito Princess ay nagkaroon ng caucus ang majority block kung saan hindi isinama ang mga LP Senator sa ngayon bahagi na ng minority block ang mga ito bago ito si Senador Antonio Trillanes the fourth recto at escudero lamang ang miyembro ng naturang grupo thank you your honor thank you to both gentlemen on the floor uh, majority leader mr president i move to um, suspend consideration of senate bill 1256 under committee report number 13 any objection there being none motion is approved mr president uh, with the permission of the body, I move to resume consideration of Senate Bill 1305 under Committee Report Number 29. Committee Report Number 29 is in order. Mr. President, this is the expanded maternity leave law. The parliamentary status of the measure is in last, uh, last Wednesday. We already terminated the period of interpolations. So we therefore move to open the period of committee amendments. May we now recognize, move to open the period of committee amendments first. Any first. objection? There being none, committee on the, the period of amendment is now open. May you now recognize the sponsor, chairman of the committee on women, children, family relations, Senator Reza Teveras. The distinguished lady is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Majority Leader. Um, Mr. President, may I respectfully introduce as committee amendments the following. Insert at line 24 of page 2, provided further that no notice shall be necessary in the event of a medical emergency. I so move, Mr. President. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is carried. Thank you, Mr. President. Further, Mr. President, insert at line 26 of page 3, provided further that no notice shall be necessary in the event of a medical emergency. Clarification, uh, yes, Majority Mr. Leader, uh, distinguished lady. Uh, this is in the nature of an individual amendment, just for, for purposes of record. Uh, Mr. President, uh, I think uh, the answer to your question is in the affirmative. And therefore, I, I, um, I withdraw the motion, Mr. President. I move that we open the period of individual amendments and recognize Senator Risa Otiveros for the individual amendments. Senator Risa is recognized for the period of individual amendments uh, to her uh, committee report. Yes, Mr. President. Uh, pardon my, uh, my error, and I stand corrected. Uh, so to, to repeat, but properly now, to introduce these as individual amendments, mm -hmm. First, Mr. President, insert at line 24 of page 2, provided further that no notice shall be necessary in the event of a medical emergency. I so move, Mr. President. Any objection? There being none, motion is carried. Thank you, Mr. President. Secondly, insert at line 26 of page 3, provided further that no notice shall be necessary in the event of a medical emergency. I so move, Mr. President. Any objection? There being none, motion is approved. Thank you, Mr. President. Next, insert at line three of page six, after the word salary, or otherwise amount to constructive dismissal. I so move, Mr. President. Any objections? There being none, motion is approved. Next, Mr. President, insert at line 5 of page 6 after the word SSS and the gender on board of the Commission on Human Rights, CHR. I so move, Mr. President. Any objection? There being none, motion is approved. Thank you, Mr. President. And last but not the least, uh, insert as a separate section 14 the provision, whoever fails or refuses to comply with the provisions of this act, 
shall be punished by a fine of not less than 5,000 pesos, nor more than 20,000 pesos, and imprisonment for not less than six years and one day, nor more than 12 years or both. If the act or omission penalized by this act be committed by an association, partnership, corporation, or any other institution, its managing head, directors, or partners shall be liable to the penalties provided in this act for the offense. I so move, Mr. President. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, further, Mr. President, uh, good, good Majority Leader, I respectfully move to renumber sections 14, 15, 16, and 17 to sections 15, 16, 17, and 18, respectively. I so move, Mr. President. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, Majority Leader. Thank you. Mr. President, um, we have a one-minute suspension and have a copy of uh, the new Section 14 before I move to close uh, the period of individual amendments, Mr. President. The session is suspended. Be ready to resume, Mr. President. Session is resumed. Thank you. Mr. President, I move to close the period of individual amendments for uh, Committee Report 29, Senate Bill 1305. Any objection? There being none, motion is approved. Mr. President, I uh, move that uh, we approve on second reading Senate Bill 1305 under Committee Report number 29. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. Thank you very much, Mr. President and Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to resume consideration of House Bill 4631 under Committee Report Number 36. Any objection? There being none, motion is approved. Corresponding House Bill is in order. Thank you, Mr. President. This is the measure renewing for another 25 years the franchise to uh, GMA Network. Parliamentary status of the measure is that last Monday we already terminated the period of interpolation. We now move to uh, open the period of committee amendments, Mr. President. Is there any objection? There being none. The period of committee amendments is now open. To introduce the committee amendments, uh, we move to recognize the sponsor, Senator Grace Poe, Chairman of the Committee on Public Services. Uh, clarification, Majority Leader, period of committee amendments or individual amendment? Committee amendments, Mr. President. Thank you for the clarification. Mr. President, committee amendments are as follows. On page 2, line 10, between the words satellite and or, insert a comma, and the word terrestrial. So move. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. Thank you, Mr. President. On page 3, line 8, between the words provide and adequate, insert the phrase free of charge and the comma. I so move. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. On the same page three and line, between the words time and to insert the phrase, which is reasonable and sufficient, I so move. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. On the same page, line 10, after the word facilities and before the comma, insert the phrase of the grantee, I so move. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. On the same page, line 10, between the words the and population, insert the word pertinent. I so move. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. On the same page and line, add a slash and the letter S in the word population, then insert the phrase or portions thereof. I so move. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. On the same page, line 11, after the word issues, insert the phrase and relay important public announcements and warnings as necessity, urgency, or law may require. I so move. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. On the same line, 
On the same page, line 14, after the semicolon preceded by the word enterprise, insert the phrase promote audience sensibility and empowerment through, but not limited to, closed captioning, then add a semicolon. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. Hence, the entire section 4 shall now read as section 4, responsibility to the public, the grantee shall provide free of charge adequate public service time which is reasonable and sufficient to enable the government through the broadcasting stations or facilities of the grantee to reach the pertinent populations or portions thereof on important public issues and relay important public announcements and warnings as necessity, urgency or law may require, provide at all times sound and balanced programming promote public participation, assist in the functions of public information and education, conform to the ethics of honest enterprise, promote audience sensibility and empowerment through, but not limited to, closed captioning, and not use its station or facilities for the broadcasting of obscene and indecent language, speech, act, or scene, or for the dissemination of deliberately false information or willful misrepresentation to the detriment of the public interest, or to incite, encourage, or assist in subversive or treasonable acts. I so move. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. On the same page three, line 23, replace the semicolon with the colon. I so move. Any objection? There being none, motion is approved. On page four, line two, between the words facilities and during, insert the phrase of the grantee. I so move. Any objection? There being none, motion is approved. On page 4, line 18, after the word non-acceptance, insert the phrase of the grantee. I so move. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. On page 5, line 20, delete the phrase cut off from and replace it with the phrase not allowed to be aired. I so move. Is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. On the same page, line 21, delete the phrase, the air, I so move. Any objection? There being none, motion is approved. In the meantime, uh, minute suspension. Please don't read any more number 14. Oh, Session is resumed. Session is resumed. On page 7, line 17, after the word franchise, insert a comma and the phrase, the lifespan of the franchise. I so move. Any objection? Hearing none, motion is approved. That is all, Mr. President. Thank you. Majority Leader. Mr. President, um, with the indulgence of the sponsor, may we hear the... Um, Section 7 as a whole now. How, how will Section 7 read again? As amended. But, okay. Section 7. No. No, 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 no. One minute suspension, Mr. President. A minute suspension. No, no, no. Ready to resume, Mr. President. Session is resumed. Mr. President, Section 7 will now read as follows. Mm -hmm. Section 7, Acceptance and Compliance. 
This franchise shall become effective upon acceptance given in writing by the grantee to the Congress of the Philippines, to the Committee on Legislative Franchises of the House of Representatives, and the Committee on Public Services of the Senate within 60 days from the effectivity of this act. Upon giving such acceptance, the grantee shall exercise the privileges granted under this act. Non-acceptance of the grantee shall render the franchise void. No, okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, may we now recognize Senator Frank Delon uh, for a question on the, one of the amendments uh, proposed by the Senator committee. Senator Delon is recognized. <clears throat> Just to clarify, Mr. President, if the uh, <clears throat> gentle lady can, will yield the floor. My pleasure, Mr. President, to answer um, questions. May we know if the proposed amendment to Section 10 uh, of the bill uh, is being adopted? I'm sorry that I asked this question because I didn't know the exactly the status of this amendment. In the bill, uh, in, in, in the present uh, uh, franchise, <coughs> Uh, you may, the uh, franchisee uh, may not uh, transfer, uh, merge, or yield control of the, uh, of the uh, corporation grantee without the prior approval of the Congress of the Philippines. Um, there is in bold letters in the form of an amendment of this act. Is that confirmed, uh, sir? Um, Mr. President, we did not read that amendment anymore. We are oh, withdrawing okay. it. Uh, so just for the record, this amendment was not introduced. Yes, Mr. President. Uh, so that uh, the uh, franchise simply reads, in case there is a change of ownership, that the standard provision which says it is not effective without the prior approval of Congress stands, not necessarily in the form of a law. Yes, Mr. President. Okay, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I move that we recognize Senator Ralph Recto for the, no, I'm sorry, I move to close the period of committee amendments, Mr. President. Any objection? Hearing none, motion is approved. And now move to open the period of individual amendments, Mr. President. An objection hearing none, so open. May you now recognize Senator Ralph Rector for his individual amendments. Senator Rector is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Majority Leader. Uh, I may have two amendments, uh, but before I propose the first one, just a clarification. Section 1 of the bill states that the franchise is renewed for another 25 years from the approval of this act. On the other hand, Section 6, which speaks of the term of the franchise states that the franchise shall be in effect for a period of 25 years from the effectivity of this act. Lastly, on page 8, under the proposed Section 16 of this bill, it says that the act shall take effect 15 days after its publication in the official gazette or in a newspaper of general circulation. Do the words approval and effectivity as used in this bill have the same meaning? Um, Mr. President, I agree uh, with the good senator and accept the amendment used. I think um, the word effectivity and not approval uh, would be more sufficient. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, so for consistency, for we use the word effectivity. Yes, and not approval. May I now introduce the following amendment. On page 2, line 18, delete the word approval and replace the same with the word effectivity. Yes, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Any objection? Yes, Hearing none, motion is approved. Uh, on the second amendment and my last amendment, Mr. President, on page 4, insert a new section after section 7, which will be section 8, which will carry the heading tax provisions. This new section shall read as follows. Section 8, tax provision. The grantee, its successor or assigned, shall continue to be subject to all applicable taxes, duties, fees, or charges, 
and other impositions under the National Internal Revenue Code of 1997, Republic Act Number 8424 as amended, the Local Government Code of 1991, Republic Act Number 7160 as amended, and other applicable laws. Period. We accept, Mr. President, uh, we accept the amendment. However, let me put on record the GMA Network is not asking for any exemption or preferential tax treatment that departs from the current tax regime in specific laws. We deleted the tax provision because we were of the view that the National Internal Revenue Code, RA number 8424 as amended, adequately addresses the tax, the tax regime that governs, number one, the sale of services of the grantees of congressional franchise with the VAT, and two, the income of the grantees derived from such sale under Title II of the said code. On the local taxes, local tax ordinances approved pursuant to Section 137 and 151 of the Local Government Code, RA 7160, govern the local taxation applicable to congressional franchise grantees engaged in broadcast services. Hence, specific laws already deal with the national local taxation of grantees of broadcast franchises. Nonetheless, we accept the amendment by the good senator, and we thank him for pointing it out. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. So President. the proposed amendment has been accepted. Any objection? Senator Drillon? Uh, not an objection, uh, Mr. President. Uh, but before we vote, we would like to know what is now the difference between the Effect. present tax treatment in the present franchise and the tax treatment as now proposed by the good uh, Senate President Pro Tempore. Yes, uh, thank you for that uh, question, Mr. President. It aligns now, well, whatever taxes they are currently paying, they will continue to pay. My concern was that in the bill at hand, there is no tax provision whatsoever. The committee deleted the tax provision it was not the intention of the committee that GMA will not have to pay any taxes. And I said during the period of interpolation it, that the bill will look funny in the sense that all franchises uh, that are passed through Congress have tax provisions. Deletion of the entire tax provision of the bill, amending and extending the GMA franchise, might give an impression that GMA will be exempted from taxes expressly provided under its original franchise. Although there is a rule in taxation that tax exemption should be granted only by clear and unequivocal provision of law expressed in a language too plain to be mistaken, the deletion of this provision would still create a general impression that Congress has exempted GMA from paying taxes. Since the franchise is in the nature of a contract between the franchisee and the government, Congress should not delete, but instead provide a section clearly expressing the intent of Congress that GMA's revenues will be taxed during the lifetime of the franchise. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. President. Uh, thank you for that explanation. The next question is the ipso facto clause found in franchises. How is that applied in this particular case, uh, Mr. President? Uh, we are aware My of the principle that whatever is granted in one franchise is, a, should, is ipso facto uh, enjoyed uh, by the other franchise holders. Uh, I just yes. uh, want to know whether or not yeah. that principle is applicable here uh, uh, to existing franchises of other grantees. Just for the record, Mr. Section Friday. 13 of this uh, franchise does have an equality clause. Sorry? Uh, this bill would have also an equality clause found in Section 13. The ipso facto clause? Equality clause. It is similar to the ipso facto clause. It's similar to the ipso facto clause. So today clause. it's called an equality clause. Equality clause. Now, furthermore, Mr. President, um, not all ipso facto clause or equality clause in a franchise uh, would be the same with other franchises when it, it, its applicability. For example, the scope of the franchise does not change. 
Yes, yes. Okay. Well, uh, I'm just interested in the tax treatment. Yes. And I'll be very specific yes. so that uh, yeah. we can be clear about yes. this. This phrase or this provision on, uh, on taxation would be applicable now to the franchise of ABS-CBN? Correct. Of, uh, same treatment. Same treatment. Same treatment. Of Channel 5. Same treatment. Same treatment. Same treatment. Uh, for everyone. For everyone. And uh, so, yeah, I just want to s spread it into the record so that in questions arise later on, uh, we are clear about the intent of the legislature in accepting and voting on this uh, provision uh, in the franchise of GMA. That is correct. So just again, for the record, there is no change or favorable tax treatment that GMA will enjoy under this amendment uh, because as the gentleman uh, said, the, uh, the, uh, it is not the desire of GMA to have preferential treatment. That is correct, Mr. President. And there is no reduction. Yes. But, but will it uh, change the tax treatment of the other All of TV them, uh, stations? It, it will not. All of them are paying the same taxes. So the same. Mr. President. So we are just uh, stating what's already happening. That is correct. Because right now, the bill at hand does not have a tax provision. And we are putting a tax provision, so which in effect will be the same for all networks that they so pay the same taxes. So if there, were, if there is no tax provision presently, how were they taxed all these years? No, there is a tax provision no. on their original franchise, on their existing. Uh -huh. In the bill that we are considering, the tax provision was deleted. And I am restoring the tax provision. Uh, so in the, in the bill that is being presented, the tax provision was deleted. Was deleted. Which tax provision is in the existing franchise? That is correct. Mr. President, actually, the equality clause does not apply to taxes, but to benefits in terms of regulatory requirements. Correct. And it is already in the general tax provisions that apply and that will uh, apply to any other franchise holders. It doesn't matter if they had it in their original provision or not. No, I think what the gentle lady is saying is that, for example, if we were to put a different tax provision here, no equality clause will apply. In effect, Congress favored GMA if we did it that way. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that our amendment treats everyone the same. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, with or without this amendment, they will be taxed as they are taxed right now. Yes, Mr. President. Is that, the, is, that the, is that the effect? Yes, but the point is this, Mr. President. Uh, I've yet to come across a franchise passed by Congress without a tax provision. Now, in the original franchise made tax provision, we are extending it by 25 years. That is the nature of the, ex that is what they're asking for, an extension of the franchise. So why do we delete the tax provision? And that's why I am restoring the tax provisions. <coughs> but you're, you're, you're now imposing a different tax regime. I am not. Because it before be it the was same. a franchise tax. No, before it was a franchise tax amended by a law uh -huh. which imposed a VAT on them. Now they will still be paying income tax, yes. value-added oh. tax, all relevant taxes, including local government taxes. Hmm. So they're treated the same with any other network. So this clarifies the tax regime and then uh, makes the form also uh, proper. proper because yes. the tax provision uh, is there. That is correct. Uh, okay. So the, amend the proposed amendment has been accepted? So yes, Mr. President. So any objection? Hearing none, motion is approved. Mr. President, there are two other members who wish to uh, propose uh, individual amendments. So therefore, I move to uh, suspend consideration of... Uh, uh, House Bill 4631 under Committee Report Number 36 and uh, ask the Senate President to direct the Secretariat to prepare a clean copy for tomorrow's uh, individual amendments of the other members of the Senate. Okay. Let me first direct the Secretariat to prepare the clean copy as requested by the Majority Leader. Any objection to uh, suspend consideration? 
There being none, we suspend consideration of House Bill Number 4631 under Committee Report Number 36. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, with the permission of the Chamber, I move to resume consideration of Senate Bill 1277 under Committee Report Number 19. Okay, any objection? Hearing none. Uh, Senate Bill number 1277 under committee report number 19 is in order. Mr. President, this is the Free Internet Access in Public Places Act. Parliamentary status of measure is that we are now in the period of amendments. So may we recognize the sponsor, Chairman of the Committee on Science and Technology, Senator Bob Aquino. Senator Aquino is recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. President, no. Mr. Majority Floor Leader. On page 2, after line 12, insert the following paragraph, which shall read as follows. At the minimum, the program shall be made available in areas within the foregoing public places where maximum use and access to the benefits shall be ensured, such as but limited to computer laboratories and libraries in public basic education institutions and state universities and colleges, main lobbies and hallways of public buildings or transport terminals, and at main assembly points in public parks, hospitals, and health centers. Appropriate signage shall be placed in conspicuous areas of sites with access to the free internet service provided by the program. So move, Mr. President. Any objection? Hearing none, motion is approved. On page 2, line 16, after the word permits, add a comma and then licenses. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Page 2, line 16, delete the words certificates pertinent and replace it with the phrase clearances needed for the construction of infrastructure or installation of equipment in coordination with the respective issuing government agencies and departments for. So move, Mr. President. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. On page 2, line 21, after the word program, add a new sentence to read as follows. The revenue collected from local fees, charges, and other local impositions shall inure solely to the benefit of and be subject to disposition by the local government units. So move, Mr. President. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. On page 2, line 22, delete the phrase, conduct the necessary public consultations and consultations with, and replace it with, coordinate with the. So move, Mr. President. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. On the same page, line 23, delete the word, delete the comma after parenthesis NGAS, and replace it with the word end. So move, Mr. President. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. On the same page, line 23, after LGUs, insert the phrase, and conduct the necessary consultations with. So move, Mr. President. Any objection? Hearing none, approve. Uh, Majority Leader. Will the sponsor read again uh, line 23, as amended? Um, why not the entire paragraph as amended? Oh, okay, from, uh, no, from line 22 na lang, yeah. na. Okay, Mr. President, um, I have one more amendment to change the whole paragraph, and we can read the whole paragraph, if that's okay, Mr. President. Uh, uh, the, the, reason is, uh, the, the reason I ask, Mr. President, is that uh, the use of the word end twice. Anyways, uh, yes, I will, uh, yes okay. I will wait for the, mm, the okay. other amendment, Mr. President. Yes, thank Senator you, Mr. Aquino, President. Uh, one more amendment for this paragraph, Mr. President. Okay. On the same page, line 25, delete the word regarding and replace it with the word for. So the paragraph, Mr. President, shall now read as follows. The DICT shall coordinate with the concerned national government agencies, NGAs, and local government units, LGUs, and conduct the necessary consultations with civil society organizations and other stakeholder groups in the development of the implementing rules and policies for the permitting and certification process. That's the uh, amended, Mr. President. An objection hearing none approved. Continue, Mr. President. Yes, continue. Okay. Mr. President, on page 2, line 28, after the word issuances, add the words and agreements. So move, Mr. President. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. On the same page, line 29, before the word released, insert the words issued or. So move, Mr. President. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. On page 2, after line 32, insert a new section on private property ownership to read as follows. Private property ownership. The right to pro private property shall be respected in the implementation of the program. In case the construction of any infrastructure or installation of equipment shall involve or affect privately owned land or property, the DICT shall ensure that the necessary public consultations are held with affected or concerned parties, such as homeowners and homeowner associations, non-government organizations, and people's organizations, 
and local government units before the program is implemented in their respective jurisdiction. Such public consultations shall conform to the manner as stated in Republic Act No. 9904, otherwise known as the Magna Carta for Homeowners, and as specified in Rule 11, Article 54, of the Implementing Rules and Regulations of Republic Act No. 7160, otherwise known as the Local Government Code of 1991. So moved, Mr. President. Any objection? This is a new section, right? Any yes, objection, Mr. President. none, approved. On page 3, line 6, del delete the word proscribe and replace it with the phrase prohibit any unfair methods of competition end. So move, Mr. President. Any objection here or none approved? On page 3, after line 17, insert the following new sections to read as follows. Public-private participation. To promote an efficient and cost-effective delivery of the free internet access for public spaces, the DICT may partner with private individuals and entities in the implementation of the program. Private sector participants to the implementation of the program shall not be required to secure franchises from the Congress and local government units. Excess capacity may be offered to deliver internet access service for compensation to the citizens and households in the areas wherein program facilities are located, provided that said individuals or entities register to the National Telecommunications Commission as value-added service providers. In order to lower costs, increase and improve the free internet access for public spaces, Private service providers are encouraged to exchange data traffic at domestic internet protocol, IP, exchanges, which may be designated by the DICT. Another paragraph, Mr. President. Transparent usage policy. No fees shall be collected for use of free internet access in public spaces. A transparent usage policy shall be implemented to ensure that individuals will have equitable access. No restrictions or requirements that hinder access shall be imposed except to implement the transparent usage policy or when there is a clear and present security or technical risk that cannot be remedied through normal technical solutions. So moved, Mr. President. Just to clarify, these are two new sections. Yes, Mr. President. Okay, so any objection? Hearing, hearing none, approved. Mr. President, I plan to move a um, omnibus uh, motion to correct all the numbering, the numbering at the, at yes, the end. Sir. Yes, Mr. President. Uh, next, Mr. President, on page 3, line 18, before the word data, add the term performance and service quality. So moved, Mr. President. Uh, before the word data in the title? Uh, page 3, line 18, Mr. President. Yeah, is it in the title? Because there's another data. On line 18. Section 10, data collection, and then another one, the DICT shall collect data. So, which of the two? One second suspension, Mr. President. Sus session suspended. No, it's the body. Ready to resume, Mr. President. Session is resumed. Mr. President, this is the data, word data in the body. Okay. So the DICT shall, before the word data, shall collect, collect performance, performance and service quality data. And service quality data. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. Thank you, Mr. President. On the same page, after line 19, add a new paragraph to read as follows. The NTC shall provide minimum standards for quality of service, including but not limited to download speed, latency, packet loss, and jitter for public free internet service. The minimum quality of service standards for free public internet access services shall not be lower than minimum quality of service standards provided for retail basic internet connectivity services offered to the public. So moved, Mr. President. An objection. It is not approved. On page 3, line 20, after the word publish, insert the word such. So moved, Mr. President. Publish such information. Any, any objection? Hearing none, approved. On page 3, line 20, delete the phrase, such as but not limited to speed and stability of, and replace it with the words, on the quality of. So moved, Mr. President. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. On page 3, line 22, after the phrase, without need of, delete the article A, and replace it with the words, prior approval of. So moved, Mr. President. Page 3, line 22. Line 22. Okay. Prior appro approval. I can read the new paragraph, Mr. President. Mr. President, oh. may I know from the sponsor on what section that will fall in now? Will it be in the new section 10 or section 10? 
Because after, on That's, line 19, after the word act, you inserted a new section. Yes, Mr. President. So this what is happens to line 20 to 22? It goes to the new section or? Oh, Mr. President, one minute suspension, please. Minute suspension. One, no? yes, sir. Okay, but that's still section 10, right? Uh, it's now section. Yeah, I'll correct it. Sir President, ready to resume. Session is resumed. There is a pending motion. Any objection? Mr. President, I ah. was um, uh, provided some clarification okay. by the uh, okay, go ahead, majority please. floor leader. Mr. President, we moved um, to insert after line 19 a new paragraph which read as follows. No? The NTC shall provide minimum standards. Um, yes. This was accepted by the body, Mr. President. Yes. I, um, instead of line 19, Mr. President, it should have been line 22 and not after, line 19. After line 22. After line 22. A new Mr. section. President. A new section. A section or paragraph? I think it's, uh, the motion was it's a new, add a new paragraph uh, only. Uh, no, I think it's a new section, Mr. President. I, I remember ah, the sponsor saying it was a new section. Mr. President, may I have another minute suspension? Okay. Minute suspension. Ready to resume, Mr. President. Mr. President, I withdraw the previous statement, Mr. President. We are on the right track. Mm. May I resume, Mr. President? And that was not a new section. It no, Mr. President. Yes, um, I probably misheard, but uh, uh, that's yes. what I heard. So, that so I wanted a clarification. I'm clarified now if that is uh, the, the um, uh, manifestation of the sponsor. There is a pending motion. I, I, Mr. President, we withdraw okay. the motion, uh, moving it to after line 22. That's withdrawn, Mr. President. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, but the other one before that, uh, on page 3, line 22, are yes, you pursuing Mr. that? Yes, Mr. President, I have not read that yet, Mr. President. Okay, please, go ahead. Uh, Mr. President, on page 3, line, nine, line 22, after the phrase, without need of, delete the article A and replace it with the words, prior approval of. The paragraph shall now read as follows. The DICT shall periodically collect, update, and publish such information on the quality of internet service in program sites and ensure immediate access to such information without need of prior approval of request. So moved, Mr. President. Any objection hearing none? Approved. On page 3, after line 28, insert a new section on Free Public Internet Access Fund to read as follows. Free Public Internet Access Fund. There is hereby created a free public internet access fund, FPIF in parenthesis, under the management of DICT to provide financing for the implementation of the program. The FPIF shall be funded out of the spectrum users' fees, in parenthesis SUF, collected by the National Telecommunications Commission, NTC, and other sources to be identified by the Department of Budget and Management, DBM. So moved, Mr. President. Any objection? Hearing none, approved. On page 3, line 31, after the word technology, delete comma and replace it with the word and. So moved, Mr. President. Any objection? None approved. On page 3, line 31, after the word commission, add the period. Any objection? None approved. On page 3, line 32, delete the phrase and concerned local government units and national government agencies 
including the Department of Education in the case of public basic education institutions and the Department of Health in, case, in the case of public hospitals and healthcare centers. So moved, Mr. President. Delete. Yes, Mr. Yeah. President. Any objection? Getting none approved. On page 3, line 35, delete the phrase automatically appropriated out of the spectrum user's fees, SUF, collection of the NTC, and replace it with sourced from the free public internet access fund. So moved, Mr. President. Any objection? Getting none approved. Uh, Mr. President, the section on appropriation shall now read as follows. The amount necessary for the immediate and effective implementation of this act shall be charged against any available funds of the Department of Information and Communications Technology and the National Telecommunications Commission. Thereafter, such sums as may be necessary for the implementation of this act shall be sourced from the fee free public internet access fund. Any deficiency in the budget requirements for the implementation of this act shall be included in the annual General Appropriations Act, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. So President, noted, so noted, yes. uh, due to the new sections, the Secretariat, um, we move for the Secretariat to make the necessary adjustments in the preparation of the clean copy of the bill, Mr. President. Motion should follow. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. President. That's all. Maraming salamat, Mr. Thank President. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, may we ask the Secretariat for a clean copy for tomorrow, Mr. President? Secretariat Did is you? directed to prepare a clean copy for tomorrow's use. I move that we close the period of committee amendments, uh, Mr. President. Individual? Committee amendments, Muna. Individual, by the We were. Uh, uh, no, we're not ready to close the period of individual amendments, Mr. Okay. President, because uh, there are uh, two other members of the Senate who wish to introduce individual amendments. Okay. But to facilitate and to make sure that we are not crisscrossing on the sections, uh, we will wait for a clean copy before the other members of the Senate introduce their individual amendments. This was an individual amendment. Uh, uh. So the motion is to suspend consideration. Yes, I move to suspend consideration of Senate Bill 1277 under Committee Report Number 19. Any objection? There being none, so suspended. President, I move to adjourn. I move that we adjourn the session until 3 o'clock in the afternoon of Tuesday, February 28. Um, I, I withdraw the motion. Senator Dillon is recognized. Just a request before we adjourn. Uh, in today's agenda, uh, number four in the agenda is the committee report number 30 under Senate Bill number 14. This is the indexation of the values mm. uh, found in our 1930 revised penal code to upgrade, uh, to mm. update them to present values. Uh, we have discussed this with Senator Lacson, uh, who is uh, scheduled to interpolate. Uh, Senator Lacson and I agreed that we have it for tomorrow. So can, uh, can we just have it as the first item on the agenda uh -huh. so that we can... Uh, uh, this is not a very difficult bill. Uh, this uh, this is a upgrading of the uh, monetary values. I'll try to work that out tomorrow, Mr. President, as of now, because I uh, earlier um, we agreed uh, with Senator Francis Pangilinan that the the COCO levy be taken up. But uh, I will schedule it as what we have agreed upon. I'll make the the uh, the request of the uh, of Senator Dillon to the second. But uh, we can talk to Senator Pangilinan and that uh, we'll, take, we'll take it up first anyway. It's, uh, the, uh, because uh, I'm afraid, uh, Mr. President, if we put <laughs> Senate Bill 1233 <laughs> ahead, ahead, then we might as well, you know, uh, uh, accept the proposition that we cannot take up this <laughs> other bill. This right. I, the interpretation will be very short. From what I understand. All right. Uh, <laughs> then I, I, uh, I will make sure that uh, that is what we will do, as requested by the, uh, the distinguished gentleman from Iloilo, Mr. President. Mr. President, I 
President. Thank you, Majority Leader. Yes, Senator Tiberos, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, may I also respectfully request that uh, Committee Report Number 17 on Senate, of, uh, uh, on Senate Bill Number 1271, or an act prohibiting discrimination on the basis of SOGI and providing penalties, therefore, through the kindness of the Majority Leader, be scheduled again tomorrow. I would just like to note, Mr. President, that today is the fifth uh, session that this bill is scheduled for interpolation, pero hindi po natuloy. I spoke earlier to Senator Pacquiao and he told me that he will no longer interpolate but later on introduce amendments to the bill. And I had been hoping that Senator Villanueva and I could have the interpolation. Uh, since uh, apparently it is not going to happen today, I respectfully request that uh, it be uh, scheduled, uh, rescheduled again. Uh, and early enough uh, in our uh, agenda for the day tomorrow. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Majority Leader. Yes, Mr. President, um, we will ask the Secretariat or the Rules uh, Committee Secretariat to um, include it in the agenda tomorrow, but uh, I suggest that the distinguished lady uh, uh, talk to the interpolators because uh, we've always been placing it in the agenda, but uh, the interpolators are not ready. Uh, they have been asking for a day or so afterwards. So uh, I suggest that uh, they, they talk privately so that they can schedule when uh, the interpolations can start. Uh, I will do, Mr. President, and I thank the good majority leader for faithfully scheduling and rescheduling mm -hmm. this bill for interpolation. I reiterate that uh, uh, when I uh, asked him on the floor earlier, Senator Pacquiao said that he would introduce amendments and no longer interpolate, mm. but yes, I will uh, talk to Senator Villanueva to try to uh, ensure that our interpolation will proceed tomorrow. Thank you, Majority right. Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. You. With that, I move to um, adjourn the session until 3 o'clock in the afternoon of Tuesday, February 28, 2017. Any objection? There being none, session is adjourned until 3 o'clock in the afternoon of Tuesday, February 28, 2017.